Hello. Welcome welcome to an explanation through question 7 of the 2014 November mock for AS level. Right. Question 7 states, a light spring of extended, unextended length, 2 cm, is hung from a fixed point. On an object, the weight, 3 newtons, is hung from the other end of the spring. Figure 7.1, which is this one, is in, is in equilibrium, which is shown here. So, question A shows, states, show that the force constant of the spring is 50 newtons per, per metre. So, the equation that has to be used is F equals Kx. F stands for the force, K stands for the, stands for the force constant, and X is the extension. So, first of all, you've got to find out the extension, because it's not true. true. So, you have the, the, the total length of 8 centimetres, 8 minus 2. The 2 is gained from the unextended length here. This is equal to six centimeters. However, a common mistake which I actually, which I actually made was that this, the six down ten to the minus two, is meters. This is in centimeters. You don't want it in centimeters. You need it in meters, which is quite a common mistake. The force is three, I got as of this. So you rearrange the equation, which is, so it's k equals f over x. K is equal to three divided by six down ten to the minus two, which is fifty newtons, which is your answer there. 7b. The object is pulled vertically down in figure 2. The new length of the spring is calculated. Calculate the change in elastic potential energy difference in E in the spring. So, for this, you will have to use the equation E equals half kx. So, you, first of all, you have to find like, the new extensions. 12, because this is 7.2, and that has a length of 12. So, 50, which is the answer there, and also, if you couldn't actually do this question, that could be achieved from there. So, it's actually helping you a little bit. So, half times 50, which is k, times x squared, 0 0.1, uh, because it's 10 centimetres, 12 minus 2 equals 10, and then I say centimetres, you want to get into metres, so 0 0.10 metres. That squared is equal to 25 joules, 0 0.25 joules. So, we need to do this one now. So we go back down, and this is the same as before, so it's 0 0.06 metres, as done in the previous previous um, part of the question, which is there. So you go down, so that will equal, if you sub everything in properly, 0 0.09 joules. And the difference in E is... 0 0.25 minus 0 0.09, which is a total of 0 0.16 joules, which is a difference. You don't have to write the joules here because all the being put for you, but it is recommended. Well, it's just, it's just there for you. Now, I, I. Well, this is quite a quite a difficult question, which I got wrong personally, and as well that quite a couple few people got wrong. So the equation that has to be used is F equals kx again. Force for the force. K for um, force constant and X for extension. So you sub that in. 50 times 0 0.10 equals 5 newtons. So extension is shown there. Extension to there is shown again. You've done the previous question. So let me just get rid of that. So now you find W, you find the mass. Because, as a result, net force. So, W equals mg. W is the weight. m equals the mass, and g is g. So, rearrange the equation so you get m equals w over g. m, sub in the, sub in the thing, sub, sub in the, um, sub in the, uh, um, information that you know. 3 is from the, um, 3 newtons. And gravitational potential gravitation field strength is 9.81 as you know which when you times it out will equal well that so sorry for a bit further now f, f equals ma a you find the um acceleration upwards which is there so f here stands for net force 
So the final net force is 5 minus 3 to get um, the net force because it's the f it is the we just it is the sorry it is the um force minus the um weight well 3 equals to 2 so as a result so it's 2 divided by 0.306 and that will equal 6.54 and um, that is um, question 7 people hopefully this has um, helped you as it has helped me um, goodbye <laughs>